today we will try to do the following we are trying to create a departments table using this SQL command and then we are going to create a classes table using this command and then we are going to link these tables using a foreign key relationship now as far as uh, students and classes uh, you know you do realize that one student here uh, can register for one or more classes okay um, unless you are a lifelong student and take one class at a time uh, you can definitely register for uh, one or more classes now in turn remember that one class obviously can have one or more students so once again you know the relationship between students and classes is going to be what it is going to be a many-to-many -many relationship okay so we are going to need a, a junction table which we will create in a little bit uh, <clears throat> we will in fact call it student underscore classes okay and then we are going to use uh, SQL script also we basically uh, have created uh, you know placed everything in a SQL script so then we can walk you easily through the steps okay and uh, before we jump to the demo I believe I do have one more slide that I want to cover so we are going to look at the SQL in a minute uh, but uh, you know he here's what it looks like okay so on the left side you'll notice that we have our classes table uh, you know items like uh, class ID class name description uh, number of credits uh, some of the other fields and then obviously you know on the right side we have a students table uh, you know this has a little bit more information as it's you know more personal information uh, student ID uh, last name first name a little demographic information and also uh, you know their contact information address and whatnot and then here is the third table that we will be uh, also creating which is the students uh, classes table and the key thing I want you to get out of this one is that we are going to create a primary key on an ID field which is just going to be a, a you know auto number integer but then uh, here's where the magic happens you have the class ID that is going to join back to the class ID here so this is going to be a one to many link over here and then you also are going to have a one to many link on this side okay so that's that's kind of like what is what is going to happen I just wanted to cover that in case uh, you know once we start talking about the SQL you may you may totally uh, get lost uh, in there but um, l you know let me let me go ahead and start looking at some of these scripts so in order to pull up a script you click on open file or you can also go to file open file here okay um, now the first thing we need to create is obviously before even we do a class is to create uh, the departments table okay and so let me go ahead and minimize this and uh, if you if you're not familiar with this some of this code um, you know uh, you may have to review it a few times uh, but uh, uh, you know some of the stuff is fairly basic as far as SQL Server is concerned so the first thing we need to do is to do a create table um, you know and the code for that is essentially create table name of the table and then this part is basically where you are you know adding the fields okay so let me go l review these fields one by one you have a department ID field this is an integer and this is going to be an identity field which means uh, you know it uh, increments it starts with one and increments by one so the first department is going to be one second will be two three four so on and so forth we have a department name which is going to be a character field with a size of 50 department description budget code department head and then this key this <clears throat> last line is is a key uh, key important point here uh, what we're doing is we're creating a constraint okay uh, this is the name of the constraint so it's PK departments department ID well what kind of constraint is it it is going to be a primary key clustered well on which field on department ID so essentially what it's doing is uh, it's a long long uh, long text but essentially it's creating a primary key on this field okay so what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll run this uh, one by one so let me go ahead and create the table first 
I'm going to select it. You can run, run it by execute. Now all it's going to do is execute this block of code, okay? And so we will do that. And then in fact, let me just, uh, <coughs> I will try to run a select statement here. By the way, if you're not sure uh, in SQL Server, it's pretty much uh, case uh, insensitive. So it doesn't matter if you type in lowercase, uppercase we are going to uh, get some information so right now as you can see there is no data in this table so next we need to insert some data and uh, let me clear this uh, <clears throat> let me walk you through this uh, next few statements so basically um, when you're trying to insert data into a table in sql server you start out with insert into okay name of the table if you are entering data into specific fields you need to put them in parentheses. So that's what we have in here. We have our department name, description, budget code, department head, okay? And then you use the keyword values and we go um, department name, description, budget code, and then our department head, okay? Uh, and pretty much I am uh, repeating that. I have uh, uh, information technology, computer science, uh, basic sciences and then language uh, language and arts okay so I am going to uh, highlight this portion here and then execute this it is going to insert uh, you know four rows into our table and we can check that by uh, selecting the next statement which is just to select star and then we hit that now you know we have uh, all all this uh, information in here. I'm actually going to copy this part uh, <coughs> because I kind of need to tr keep track of my uh, uh, ID. So I'm going to uh, just essentially open up a new window and these are the department IDs uh, you know that we are working with. Okay. So uh, that was our department table. Uh, again, just to recap, we we created a table. Here, we inserted some data into it, and uh, we are pretty much ready to go on to the next table. I'm going to close this one, okay, and we can uh, we can save this. Uh, the next table that I mentioned is uh, we did departments, and now we're going to use the classes table, okay. So let's open up uh, open up another uh, SQL uh, script here, and I'm going to use the classes table. Okay, very similar in concept. The only difference in here is after I create the table, I'm actually going to show you some of these things in uh, Management Studio. So uh, just so you have an idea of on, on how to do things, you know, basically another way. So again, um, nothing new. Uh, we start with create table classes. Uh, this time we are going to be uh, entering things like a class ID, which is a varchar uh, 10 field okay and I'm actually going to make this uh, not null because remember this is going to be a primary key uh, since the primary key is a unique indicator you cannot allow nulls in here so one thing you can remember then we have another field class name class description the number of credits which obviously is going to vary from class to class any prerequisites department ID and then teacher ID. So these two points are interesting, which we'll come back to uh, in a bit. But basically, uh, you know, the department ID, remember, is going to be a foreign key back to the table departments. And the teacher ID is going to be a foreign key back to the table teachers. Okay. So obviously, you know, a class, uh, let's say if you're teaching um, English, um, you know, or uh, French, that will need to tie back to the uh, essentially the language department and then you know classes are obviously taught by different teachers so then it needs to tie back to the teachers table okay and finally we have we have an active flag which is uh, going to be an integer okay now as far as um, you know how do you make a class ID field primary key <laughs>